Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. I'm gonna hang some cabinets today by myself. Uh, this is part of that stairwell remodel project. I'm no longer on that since I'm out on my own, but they hired me to come back and put these cabinets in. Uh, so today I'm only gonna be working for a few hours. So you might see me in different clothes by the time I finish this video. I'm basically coming over here. I finished up a couple other jobs I had this morning. I'm gonna see if I can get these uppers hung. I'll put up a, you know, a little bit of a layout drawing of what this kitchen's supposed to look like in case you haven't seen any of those stairwell remodel project videos. Uh, but I don't really have a specific layout for this cabinet goes here, this cabinet goes there. I just have the overall length and kind of where a stove goes, but I already know all those. So uh, I'll be basically putting these into place. See if I can get these hung today and then I'll do the trim and then I come back and I put the lowers in. I like to do all my upper stuff first. That way my lowers aren't in my way. Uh, but I'm going to show you, I'm going to be doing this completely by myself. Uh, so you'll see how one person can hang cabinets if you've got the right tools and, and right things to help you out with that. So let's see how it goes. Again, this is going to be like a watch me work, uh, not necessarily a how to, but we'll just see how this pans out over the course of the video. So I'm going to set the bottom of my uppers at 55 inches off the finished floor. Uh, so that's what I've got here. Get my laser set up on my third hand. Probably also going to set up the tr this camera on that as well and just do kind of a time lapse of me finishing. Now you're going to notice as I install these cabinets that I don't do a lot of, uh, like a lot of people I see use those Bessie clamps where they clamp your faces together. You got to go in and you got to drill those, pre-drill, put your screws in. Well, we go ahead and I have the cabinet guy. He basically pre-drills and drills into even the next cabinet. So that helps with locating. Uh, I don't have to spend a lot of time drilling those holes out and all those things. And then typically, you know, when you put that screw in, if the hole's already in your next cabinet, it kind of moves that cabinet to where it locks it in place. I think that's a much better way to go about doing this because, you know, you can install these on the floor, get them exactly how you want it. You're not having to deal with all that while you're up in up in the air on top of a ladder, you know, doing all those kinds of things. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this laser set up and get it set on my 55. I've got this in my third hand. This is the same thing I'll be using to hold up the uppers, but I have a tripod mount to stick one in. So I'm gonna mount my level to that, my laser and my Bosch laser level to that. Get my line up there and then we'll start setting these uppers. I also always like to take all the doors off while i'm hanging a cabinet just so that they're not in my way and again these are really easy to take off you just push this little button here at the top and the bottom and then those come off i set those aside hang the cabinet and then i'm gonna put them back on So getting that first cabinet set, that's always the, you know, the hard one to get this thing adjusted. And now that I've got it set, it's just as easy as putting it in there, sliding it up, getting my cabinet on my line. See if I can get out of the way of it here. On my line there, on my line here. I checked this wall prior, it was pretty, it's just slightly out, but it's not out enough that it's worth, you know, getting to where you're scribing that or anything like that i'm talking it's a 16th at the most nothing that you're ever going to notice uh so now i'm just going to finish buttoning this one off and that's a matter of taking the next cabinet setting it up there screwing it through so on and so forth so again i'll just let you guys watch me do it and uh, again this third hand if you work by yourself i did buy the bigger mounting plates as an option uh, so it's a lot bigger base down here. I keep my small one on the top. And again, that one by itself holds it up there just enough. You've got the adjustment here to slowly lift stuff up and slowly lift stuff down. But what you might have saw me doing during that is I just basically spread out the bottom. 
either out or in to lift it up or lift it down. That's a lot easier when you're working by yourself instead of trying to reach up in there and uh, click that, make that go up and down, so. So I was able to adjust the third hand to get this exactly straight on the top. And again, as I do these, I've got this extremely flush as it is, but remember I've got the holes are already drilled and then they're also drilled into this one where these are located exactly. So even if this was off just a hair, as you put that screw in, it kind of smooths this back out. So you don't have to spend as much time using those clamps that hold this straight and the side straight. I do typically use one of these kind of clamps and get it kind of where I want it just to help. And then it's just a matter of putting, it help if I use the right screw, but then it's just a matter of putting this screw in and uh, getting it lined out. And I use these screws with these cabinets just cause it blends in pretty good. You know, it's three inch screw, uh, plenty strong. really nice there's no no little lip there at all it's real nice and i just keep moving up and getting that straightened out as i go so i always go ahead and i get one screw just to kind of help hold each cabinet as i go i don't tighten it all the way because i want to be able to move that out in case the wall's not exactly you know plumb i can move that out and shift that to where my cabinets clamp together tight then i go back after i get those put together i'm gonna put these doors on so that they don't get damaged laying around i leave that one off put those cabinets together same process over and over as i go down the line uh, i never tighten up to the wall until i've already got all the cabinets kind of put together i tighten them snug but not just full bore tight up against the wall see I'm right at 90 so I've got these plum it's like I said this wall here is extremely nice I mean it's it's pretty well straight up and down I don't have to do hardly any shimming on these upper cabinets as far as to get them to the wall so that's making it super easy uh, but just wanted to show you guys that it was 90 so that you didn't think that I was just saying that Still looking good. Everything's looking good here. 
good up at the top. Again, now it's just a matter of I'll put a screw in this bottom where there's a, where there's a stud, not snug, just enough to hold it so I know that it won't move on me while I'm putting those screws in. So this cabinet's a little different. It's a 16 inch deep cabinet. It's for a microwave and also taking it up to towards the ceiling so that if they want to run an exhaust fan out, they can. That's something they thought they might want to do. Still didn't know for sure if they were going to. But also because this was wider, there's no pre-drilled holes. So I'm gonna have to figure out where those holes need to be drilled through this cabinet into this cabinet, get those drilled out and attach, but I'm gonna start by just getting the cabinet up on the wall, measure where this is, that microwave outlet plug, roto zip that out, get this mounted, and then we'll come back and attach that. So got that secured through this cabinet into this one. You can see that line is nice and tight. And again, this screw here, you won't see this. This will get covered up with a microwave. So that was what I did to pull this tight down here at the bottom. Turn the light on. You can see we're at 90, 89, 95. So I'm gonna call that good. You know, you're gonna get a little bit of uh, deal with the wood itself. I can see like there's a little bit of a dip in the middle of this wood. Let's check it this way. We're at 90 as well. So again, looking good. Now I'll finish tightening that one off, uh, tightening that one off, putting the doors onto this point. Just got two more cabinets left. You got one regular size and then one that goes over the refrigerator on the end. So. Almost done, we'll get these put up.
these are taking different screws than you know what I would normally use because I'm only going through a three-quarter board and then into the cabinet itself so it's not two cabinets joined together so I need to make sure you use a little bit smaller screw There you go, you can see zeros across the top. Ninety straight there. All right, guys, so that's the uppers. Uh, all that's left, I gotta put crown across the top. Uh, also, there's a light rail that goes around the bottom. They're not putting lights in, but they typically have the light rail. Uh, so I got that to go around too. So I'll do that some other day. I don't know if I'll get to that today. Uh, basically been working on this for an hour and a half to get set up and to hang these upper cabinets. And it was easy for several reasons to me. One is uh, this third hand. If you don't have these and you work by yourself, really good. I'll put a link in the description to Amazon. I think you get two of them for like $80 or something like that. Now, they only come with uh, this size of a head, but they come with one like this that's just a flat surface. They also have some where they come apart and it's got a magnet so you could put plastic in them. So, like, if, you, if you've been looking into the zip wall system, you can use these and make a zip wall out of it. So, it's kind of multi-purpose. I'd rather buy these than that zip wall set. I bought a tripod for attachment for one. This just slides down in there. I keep my laser on that, but you could just extend this up to the ceiling if it's a hard ceiling. Uh, but this allows me to move my laser up and down up to 12 feet to get all that adjustment out of it. So those are really good if you haven't used those. Uh, another thing is that made this nice is I've got two by fours turned sideways, furred out, so three and a half inches worth of, I didn't have to be particular to try to hit the center of studs on things. You know, I had quite a bit of room to play with. So that's, if you noticed, I wasn't really going crazy trying to figure out where to put my screws, that's why. And then the biggest thing to me is have your cabinet guy or person pre-drill, pre-assemble your cabinets. That way, all it is for you is getting up there and putting those screws in. Uh, again, if you don't tighten up your uh, mounting screws snug as you mount them until you get these put in. Uh, you get it close, you put that screw in, it hits the other pilot hole in the next cabinet, it moves it to be exactly where it needs to be, ends up being flush, and then go back and tighten up your wall screws. Uh, that's a real nice feature if you can talk them into doing that. And if you're a cabinet builder and installer, I'd suggest you look into doing that. So like, if you get into this situation, I think he just basically flips them upside down, puts the holes in so that it's whatever surface is gonna be flush with one another. Uh, so that works out well. So I think it's a huge time saver to not be on a ladder, having those special clamps, holding all those together in exactly the right spot, drilling the holes, screwing the holes, putting the fasteners in and all those things off of a ladder. Uh, most of that work's already done, makes it a lot faster. So. 
that's the uppers guys again maybe i'll be back tomorrow it depends i got another job possibly if the weather holds out that i'm going to do tomorrow and then i might be back here thursday finish up this trim and then also start working on these lowers and the cabinets uh my task with this is install the cabinets the countertops i'm going to go ahead and install the receptacle for the microwave receptacle for the dishwasher after i get the cabinet in and then cut the hole for the sink for the plumber and then that's that's my task for this that's all i'm doing so let me know what you guys thought about you know the things that i used the pre drilling the holes all those things and again this is kind of more of a watch me work video not a how-to i didn't stop and go in depth on a lot of things but hopefully you learned something by watching it but uh, hope that you guys have a blessed day stay safe see you on the next video